Then multiplied again by the degree of difficulty for the total award, and I can't tell you how happy I am we have computers. Julie Kent is on the board right now. One of the young Australian divers who has done so well here. Julie's doing an inward dive pike, better known as the back jack, 1.4 degree of difficulty. She was a little bit heavy on that entry. She made a lot of splash. They're going... As we watch the super slow-mo, you can see that that platform is a solid surface, unlike the springboard. So you must be very gymnastic to be accurate off the platform. And there are her scores, 29.40 for Julie Kent, who's from Tasmania. Now that brings us to Wendy Weiland, the current world champion from the United States. An inward one and a half somersault pike position, 2.0 degree of difficulty. And let's see if she's concentrating today, Cynthia. I think she would like to start off well. She had some problems yesterday with one of her compulsory dives. That was in the preliminary. Today she looks like she's a little more confident. That was a very nice dive. Her feet came apart just a hair as she hit the water. Let's see if we can see it. Well, you can't really see it too well, but she does rotate just a, a little bit past vertical. Still a very nice dive to start out with. Eight, seven and a half, 46, 20 for Wendy Weiland. There's Ron O'Brien, our coach, explaining some things to her as we go to Valerie Badeau of Australia. Comes from Melbourne. Valerie's going to do a forward one and a half somersault pike. Valerie has very good acrobatic skills because she has such a long torso and short legs. Makes for a high center of gravity. She has banded wrists too as she makes a yes, decent she does. entry, doesn't she? It was a very good dive. Those bandaged wrists are a result of the impact that you feel when you go in the water off 10 meters. It's a long way down. Now, she's hitting the water at speeds in excess of 30 miles per hour, and it only takes one and a half seconds to get there. And seven and a half and eights, 39.96 for Valerie Badeau. And now we come to Michelle Mitchell of the United States. Michelle Mitchell of the United States. She will do an inward one and a half somersaults, pike position, 3.0 degree of difficulty. She doesn't go out and turn around until she hears the referee's whistle, meaning that everything is okay. The dive has been announced correctly. Oh yes, that was quite, quite smashing. Yes, that was one of the best inward one and a half pipes I've seen her do. I think the fact that she is very quick off the tower, right there, throwing her arms and getting into that somersault, sets her up for a long drop, and it's very vertical. And right away, the American women are putting down the challenge for the Chinese. Eight and a half and eights, 49.80. And now, this is Chen Xiaosha of China. She will do a forward one and a half somersault in the pike position, 1.6 degree of difficulty. splash than she usually does but this takeoff is so nice she's got this bounciness to her that the judges really like that's the flare I was talking about what flexibility she shows her head right on her knees yes the judges liked it very very much eight and a half nine forty eighty for Chen And now the final diver in this first round of eight. This is Zhao Shihong of China. Another forward one and a half pike. Let's watch her take off. It's kind of bouncy as she leaves the tower there. Uh, lovely. Yes, that was one of the better ones I've seen. Uh, 
Only a 1.6 degree of you difficulty, can, however. You can see on this replay that that takeoff looked kind of like a horse galloping to the end. The Chinese made up that takeoff, and now a lot of people are going to it. Let's see what her scores are. Nine, eight and a half, 41.76. So because mostly of good performances by everybody and a higher degree of difficulty for the American women, they are now running first and second with the Chinese third and fourth. And we'll return with more Olympic activity in just a moment. After two dives of eight, Chen and Zhou of China first and second, Mabuchi of Japan third, Bado of Australia fourth, Wendy Weiland of the United States fifth, and Michelle Mitchell of the United States is in sixth position. Wendy is performing the reverse dive pike, and this is the dive that she missed yesterday. So let's see if she can control it today. Yes, she makes the correction. She does make the correction. And I talked to her about that, and she said she corrected in the meet yesterday, which she wasn't used to doing and was out of control as a result of it. She stays close enough to the tower, which is what she said she did yesterday, but couldn't control because she wasn't used to doing that. All right, seven and a half, seven, 42.18 for Wendy Weiland, who is in fifth place after two dives, or rather after the first dive. Now we look at Valerie Bedeau of Australia. In fourth place after two dives. She's performing the same dive Wendy did, but in a different position. She's going to be in the layout position or swan dive. But going reversed back towards the tower. And bandaged wrist, which is the badge of platform divers. <laughs> yes, the badge of courage. Mm -hmm. Wrong. She did that one pike, and I thought she was going to do it layout. She did the exact same dive Wendy did. Let's watch the replay. Pike is where you touch the toes, and that's what she's doing there. Looks back. She has a little bit too much arch in her lower back. She has had a tendency to do that, but I think she's built that way. Seven and a half, seven, 42, 18. Michelle Mitchell. Now, Michelle Mitchell of the United States. We went from first to sixth. Forward one and a half somersaults pike. I like to note the way Michelle hits the end of the tower. She hits it very hard, and you can almost hear it. Yes. We did hear it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yes, she does a very good dive there. I would like to see her go deeper underwater. She did get her, just a little bit bend at the waist as she goes in. There we see her hitting the tower very strong. Eight and one half. Eight and one half. Let's see her bend at the waist, eight. right? there as she goes in. You can barely see it underwater. She might have been able to get nines on that if she had done that. Eight and a half and eights. 39.84 for Michelle Mitchell. Now, Chen Shaoxia, 21 years old, the flying swallow. In first place after two dives. She certainly does fly, <laughs> too. She's going to do a reverse dive pike. And I love to watch her do this dive because you see the extension in her ankles so well. She jumps, see that extension there. Yeah. It's a lovely dive, although she didn't make it. It's a little short of vertical. They do make their ankles look like they're on hinges, don't they? They do. They're so <laughs> flexible. I don't know if that's a result of their ballet training or just gymnastics in general. Look at that. Look at it there. Beautiful. Now, she should look back a little sooner and see that she's not quite vertical and pull through. All right, 43.89. And now we come to Cho Shihong, 19 years old. A back one and a half somersault with one and a half, with one half twist, excuse me. This is a unique dive. We're not gonna see any other competitors doing it in the compulsory rounds going to go one somersault, turn around, look at the water, and then go in head first. Mm. Very nice execution. She seems to save a little bit early, which means that she compensates underwater when she should be going down deeper to the bottom. Nice little bow. Let's look at it again, Cynthia. She turns around, looks at the water. And we'll see that she should go deeper than she does. You see that somersault right underneath the water there? Uh -huh. She still gets great scores. 
That's a nine in there, 52-92. And now the standings after three of eight dives. We see Zhao of China in first, Chen in second, Mabuchi of Japan holding in third, and Bado and Weiland still fourth and fifth. With Michelle Mitchell in sixth place. Here now is Bado of Australia. Valerie Bado just did one of the most difficult dives performed off the platform, and she does it very well. I've talked about her ability to spin fast. She has a long torso and short legs. Generates a lot of power and momentum here. The fact that she's able to go in the water straight is the key to this dive. And Valerie will pick up six and a half. 58-50. Miss advantage to have that. And there was Michelle Mitchell on a dive that gave her a little trouble yesterday. Gave her a little trouble on the bottom today. And I have a feeling that that spray that's coming out from underneath the platform isn't going out far enough in the middle of the pool. Let's take a look at this arm stand dive. She pushes off from the tower, gets in that pike, rotates around two times, goes in the water. You see she washes just a little bit past vertical on the end. That spray should be more out in the middle of the pool so she can see the water. Well, she did it very well there. She has to hold that balance up at the top before everything begins, and she couldn't do it yesterday. She did it today and gets good scores here, temporarily putting her in first place. She looked relieved. Now we look at Chen Shaosha of China. Her specialty, the inward two-and-a-half somersault pike. She makes this dive look easy, and it is not an easy dive. Nice entry for these Chinese divers. Yes, they are so steady today. Let's see this replay. She throws those arms real hard before she leaves the tower, and that's why she's able to complete that one somersault tower level. Well, so far, neither one of the Chinese divers are showing any signs of cracking. Eight, seven and a half, 67, 20 for Chen. And now the last diver in this rotation will be Zhou Chi Hong, China, who was in first place after the first four dives. And her teammate just set her up here. There's that spray that they look for to give them some point of reference. Yes, that spray allows them to get some depth perception on where the surface of the water is as compared to the bottom of the pool so that they can tell right where the water level is. She's going to look at that right there. A little over, was she, Cynthia? Yeah, she put her head down on the takeoff, and she couldn't get it back up to go in the water vertically on the end. All right, let's take another look. Let's watch her head drop right there. Head goes down. She gets deep in that pike, and she gets so deep in it that she can't get out soon enough to stop the momentum. And that's probably the lowest mark she's received in this whole competition. Despite the big spot, uh, smile, five and a half there, 48-72. Now we'll show you Wendy Weiland's dive in this round. She went off right before Valerie Badeau. Wendy's dive is spectacular because she controls it so well on the bottom. And now the standings. After five rounds of eight dives, Chen of China now in first place. Zhou of China second, Mitchell of the United States third, Weiland now in fourth with Bado of Australia in fifth. Let's go to Al Michaels now. Jack Whitaker along with Cynthia Potter back at the women's diving, the finals of the 10-meter platform. Here are the standings after five dives, three more to go. Chen of China, Joe of China, one and two, but Mitchell of the United States and Wyland of the United States, three and four, and the fight for the goal still to be decided as we look at Wendy Wyland now. This will be her sixth dive. It's a reverse two-and-a-half somersault. Tuck, 2.7 degree of difficulty. Very difficult dive. Let's see if she extends. Oh, they love it. They do love it, and 
I love the entry on that. She didn't extend off the tower as much as she could, but she powdered the entry. Boy, there's the fighter in Wendy Wyland. Watch this. Here we see she scoots off the tower a little bit, but it doesn't seem to matter because she kicks out so strongly, looks back for the water, goes in with her wrist completely flat, and that's what I mean by powdering. She doesn't make any splash, and it sounds like a rip. Eight, one, eight and a half, 65, 61 for Wendy Wyland. Now we come to Valerie Badeau of Australia. Valerie Badeau. A reverse one and one half somersault straight. You see those shields up there. That's to keep the wind out. It doesn't seem to be a whole lot of wind even past those shields because of the way the stands are set up here. Sometimes it can be a big factor. And you can imagine if you were in the air and the wind came up, how you'd feel. You might twist. A number of things can happen. That was a reverse one and a half somersault straight. And I've mentioned that Valerie has an arch in her back, and that is not good on this guy. She five takes and off, and she has a big half, arch in her back. And you can see her pulling it around. Five and one half. And in gymnastics, uh, an arch in the back is allowed, but not in diving. And it cost her there the scores, 44-46. Michelle Mitchell will be next. You were up on that tower. What do you see up there? Yes, I was, Jack, and it's amazing that you can see the entire USC campus. You can see the flags over at the Coliseum. Uh, it's tremendous to be up there and see that view. It's also very scary to be up there and notice how high you are. Ooh, she coasted it. Oh, nice dive, Michelle. That dive should earn her a bundle of points. I've seen her do that dive so well in the past, and this is the best I've seen her do it. American girls coming to life here in this round. Why is it so good? Because Ooh. she's definite on the end of the tower. She hits the tower like she really means it. She kicks out so strongly. What a nice stretch. There you go. Nine, eight and a half, one nine and a half. She has set a mark now for the Chinese divers. 70.47. They're putting the pressure on. We knew they could. And here comes the first, the flying swallow, Shao Sha. Chen Shao Sha. This may tell the story right here. A forward three and a half somersault pike. It's a fairly new dive in her list. A little bit short of vertical. That wasn't real good for her. It may be enough to keep her in the lead, but she wasn't strong enough off the platform. She only needs sixes to keep the lead, but the gap will have been closed. Yeah. She bent her arms when she was throwing. She should keep them straight for the leverage, and her knees bend just a little bit off the tower as well. Well, we don't think she's going to stay in first with those scores. 52.20. Interesting contest here. Michelle Mitchell is ahead of her as we come to the final diver, Zhou Zhihang of China. One thing that's interesting about these Chinese divers is their training involves a lot of tumbling on the ground. They do back somersaults and forward somersaults all day long, and sometimes they'll do up to 50 a day. That certainly relates to the surface of the platform, which has no spring in it. You can see there cement block, the non-skid surface on it. Nice dive. Nice dive indeed. Seven and a half she needs to displace uh, Mitchell in first place. That shouldn't be a problem. This dive is so good because she starts out vertically. She doesn't, she doesn't arch a whole lot on the takeoff. And if you start out vertically, you can expect to end up vertically on the end. It's a point of reference to begin from. Their scores, eight and a half. Beautiful job by Joe, 73.95. And at the end of round six, there have been some changes. But Joe remains in first place for China, but Mitchell of the United States creeping closer in second. Chen of China third. Wyland of the United States very close in fourth. And Badeau of Australia in fifth. Here are the standings after six dives in the finals in the 10-meter platform. Zhao of China, Mitchell of the United States, and it's very close. Chen of China right behind as we look up now to Wendy Weiland for her seventh dive out of eight.
Wendy's doing a back two and one half somersaults pike. 2.9 degree of difficulty. Very difficult with a high degree of difficulty. so well. She's able to spot the water and then put her head back and go straight in. Wendy is now diving like a world champion. She is. Note the way she looks when she comes out of this, where her eyes are looking. Let's see. She spots the tower there and the water there and looks back and knows right where she's going. All right, Cynthia Potter, you know what it's like to do that. Look at that, eight and a half. That makes you happy, doesn't it? I would like to be able to do it that well. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Valerie Badeau of Australia. This is a forward two and one half somersaults with one twist. Very gymnastic dive there. She twists and spins all at the same time. Here we see the run. Her head's down a little bit on the takeoff. Nice position. She hits the water. She's a little bit sideways going in. I saw two knees, and I shouldn't see but one. 55.89. Now Michelle Mitchell of the United States. She and Wendy in these Michelle last Mitchell. few dives have really come to life. Yes, they have. They are putting the pressure on the Chinese girls. Michelle's going to do a back one and a half with one and a half twist, 2.8. Judges are looking for a bold takeoff out of her, meaning strong and extended off the tower. the tower yes she is very strong with her arm swing and tight knees but she comes out she looks down a little bit too much and, and leaves it just a little bit short of vertical and that's a very critical observation seven and a half eights 64 68 for michelle mitchell as we have left now the two chinese divers here is chen xiao sha chen xiao sha is doing the same dive that michelle mitchell did back one and a half with two and a half twists She's always able to powder the entry, meaning she goes in without any splash and makes a big ripping sound. But let's see if she can get into the twist early enough to impress the judges. She waits a little too long to get into the twist. I'm interested to see how they respond to that. Here we see the super slow-mo. She takes off and she turns just a little bit sideways and waits to wrap the twist up. Five. Legs come apart a little bit. I think the lower scores that we observed there have to do with her legs coming apart in the twist. Five and a six and a half. 58.80 for Chen. That brings us now to George Sheehan. He was first, but only by 10 points ahead of Mitchell going into this round. This is a very acrobatic move. Just like I was talking about, they do a lot of reverse somersaults, back somersaults, and forward somersaults on the ground. That's all this is on the takeoff. That was a great dive. All right. That was a beautiful dive. This 19-year-old young lady from Wuhan in the Hubei province in north central China has really hit a big dive. Let's watch. She gets her arms right through on the beginning. That's the important part, that arm swing on the beginning. Kicks out so tight and streamlined. We see her legs come apart, but I don't think the judges can see that. We're a little bit behind Our her. There we go. Eight and a half, 65, 61. It's punch and counterpunch now between the United States and the People's Republic of China. And with one dive to go, here are the standings. Zhou of China. Mitchell of the United States, Wyland of the United States, Chen of China, and then far behind, Bedal of Australia. Well, here are the standings after seven dives in the finals of the women's 10-meter platform. One dive remaining, and it's a very close competition. 
Zhou of China leading, but not by too much. As we come to Wendy Wyland of the United States, she's 19 years old from Mission Viejo, California, but she grew up in Rochester, New York, and this is a big moment for her. Forward one and a half with three twists. Oh, she went over a little bit on that one. She had a little too much forward momentum off the tower. Well, Wendy was only one point eight three points out of second place. Let's watch it again. Yeah. The run is controlled, but she gets into that twist a little bit too late, and the somersault surpasses her. Goes right by on the end. And there are her marks. Six and a half, seven, fifty-six, fifty-five. And slightly disappointed there as we look at Valerie Badeau of Australia. In Valerie's place. doing an inward two and a half somersaults pike. Shouldn't have any problem making the dive. Again, she needs to try and go in the water without making a splash. She's been pretty good at that today. If I was coaching this dive as we watch it in super slow motion, I would probably tell her to use those ankles a little bit more off the tower. She needs better ankle snap in order to complete the dive up by the five meter tower instead of down by the three meter springboard. Seven and a half, 62, 16. For Valerie Badeau of Australia. Now Michelle Mitchell of the United States in second place. Just 11 and a half points out of first. Let's see if Michelle can apply the pressure here. This is an inward two and a half pipe, 2.8. She can do the dive very well. I'm concerned with the jump on this. I want to see her do a somersault up by the tower, not underneath it. and the height with which she completes that dive. Well, there's a smile on her face and congratulations yeah. from the coach. 63-84. She really dived very consistently. So now it is up to the Chinese divers. They do well. Okay. Zhou could win the gold. Here is Chen Shaosha. Back two and one half somersaults pike. She missed this dive yesterday. And I'm not so sure that her wrist being taped don't affect the way she's going in the water and missing her hands every now and then. She controls the entry. She, she over-rotated, but she was able to stretch back through and pull the water in with her. Well, we're looking for her to she's maybe very take fast. away a medal from Wendy Wyland. Yeah, she's very fast on this takeoff. She has that gymnastic ability. She comes out and doesn't look all the way back as she comes out of the dive. Still a nice dive. Well, seven, six and a half. Look at that. 60.03. So Wendy may still be in good shape. Now for the last diver, she can take the gold. Zhou Shihong of China. Forward three and a half somersaults pike. One of the toughest dives that can be performed off the 10 meter got a 3.0 degree of difficulty. She has to be fast enough to make the rotations and strong enough to be able to stop them when she comes out. Whoops, she couldn't stop it. Turn a little over. She needs sixes now to keep first place and get the gold medal. I think it's going to be close. She may get six, six and a half just because she made that dive so easily. You see on this replay that she wraps this somersault up right above the tower, and that is very impressive. I must say, there are not many people that can make that dive that easily. And here is her score, and that should be good enough for the goal for Zhou Xinghong of China. Michelle Mitchell will get the silver, and Wendy Weiland the bronze. Here are the official final standings now.
Final standings, the gold medal to China, the silver and bronze medals to the United States. Congratulations to all.